Today we're going to talk about comfort in Valheim, which should not be underestimated because it gives you the rested bonus. The rested bonus increases your health regeneration by 50% and your stamina regeneration by 100%. So it is actually very useful for just about everything you're going to do in Valheim, but particularly for fighting bosses. So let's jump into it. Okay, so we're going to start with the basics here. So the basics are to build yourself a campfire, go somewhere near the campfire and press X to sit down. It's literally that simple. Now in the top right of my screen, you'll see we've got the resting right there with a comfort level of one so what this means is we have a level one of the rested buff which adds on to the default which is a seven minute rested buff so the one adds on one minute which makes it eight minutes and that will be the case until we start to move around so all we have to do is just sit here for a little while like this now each level that we add of the comfort level adds one minute to the rested buff so right there you can see the rested buff has now showed up and we have it for eight minutes if i get up and start to walk around that eight minutes will start to tick away if i need it back again i can come and press x to sit down near my little fireplace again so the maximum level at the moment in the game is 17 well that is quite difficult to get and requires a bit of luck which i'm going to come on to later on in the video you can also theoretically get a comfort level of 18 i believe we're going to test that out and it requires cheats again that's more advanced we're just sticking to the basics for now now, in terms of increasing the rested bonus, there are obviously things that you can do. But one of the easiest things if you're just on the go is to make yourself a little shelter. So you can see here I've got these two shelters. Now, the reason I've built two is because if I come and stand under here, you'll see that I've got the shelter and my comfort has increased up to level three. Now, if I uh, walk away from here, this will go away. If I go and stand in this one right here, if we walk around, you'll notice I'm not getting any shelter buff, right? And again, as soon as I go back under here, I am getting shelter buff. So why is this? Well, it's all to do with the wind direction. You see, what the shelter is doing is sheltering you from the wind. And if you're stood in this one, the wind is blowing too much towards you. Whereas if you're stood in this one, it is actually blocking the wind. And that is what makes the difference. Now, how can you tell the wind direction? Well, in the map of the top right corner of the screen, in the bottom left hand corner, there is a little arrow that represents the wind direction. Now you can see right now, in comparison to my yellow arrow, which shows the direction I'm facing, the wind would be facing at me which means of course this structure is blocking it however when i go and stand over in this one right here now i'm facing the same way as the wind which means the wind is coming from behind me and it's basically blowing straight into that structure and that's why you don't get the extra rested buff so if you are looking to make a little structure like this when you're out and about exploring just to give yourself a bit of a rested buff do take into consideration the wind direction okay so let's start by talking about the comfort options you have early game and the early game comfort options really are quite limited but i'm talking about first day you've only just logged in these are things you can get and they include a campfire which will give you a comfort of one a rug is another one now this will require killing deer to get the deer hide and the bed again another one also a shelter will give you two so what that means is if i go inside here and i've got all of these things you can see we've got the rug we've got the bed we've got the fireplace right there and we are of course in shelter well right now we have a comfort rating of level five so if we sit down here and wait then our rested buff will be five above the seven and that'll give us 12 minutes minutes in total of the rested buff so it's not that difficult to get those 12 minutes on day one of playing in Valheim you see there I am now at the 12 minute level and this is obviously very very basic but that is of course where you're going to start okay so next up we're going to look at things that you can access once you're at the bronze age which of course includes everything that you'll get early game but there are some extras now once you get to the bronze age you can get fine wood and that's how you're going to need to build a lot of this furniture things uh, so the first is the benches and stools now once you can build these I don't recommend it because they only give you a comfort level of one whereas a chair will give you a comfort level of two now if you have a chair and a stool placed in your little house for example then it will read the stool instead of the chair and it'll actually give you one less so these aren't that great and uh, I would recommend you just go ahead and build a chair you can also make a wolf rug at this stage uh, getting wolves once you're in the bronze age is not too difficult I have a video tutorial on my channel that will show you how to do that if you're interested uh, then we have banners and you have a variety of different banners in the furniture section here all have different recipes but they will require fine wood which is why they are in the bronze age um, but the most simple one just needs a bit of fine wood coal and leather scraps so definitely something you can make at the bronze age now just to say with banners there's no point placing more than one near your bed if you have three or just one banner it'll still give you just one comfort level regardless so one banner is fine next up we have a table again that'll give you one and finally we have this thing the hanging brazier now let's just have a look at this one real quick so 
The hanging brassiere uh, does require one chain, so it's debatable whether this would be considered in the Bronze Age. The reason being is getting chains does require you to go through swamps and to kill mobs there and things, so, you know, I can understand the arguments to be made, but theoretically you could do it at this stage, as it just requires bronze and a forge, no iron is needed. That is why it is in here as an optional extra. So let's add all that stuff into our little house and see what comfort level we get at that point. Okay, so although this house doesn't look super pretty, we're only doing this to look at the comfort level, not anything else. So when we go inside here, we now have everything I just showed you. We've got the two different types of rugs. We've got the table, the banner, the uh, brassiere, of course, the shelter, the chair, all of that good stuff. So now we can actually go sit on this chair right here and there you go our comfort is level 11 so sitting down in this little environment here for a little bit of time will of course give us that rested buff of uh, the 11 level and there you go 18 minutes in total so as soon as you get to bronze age you can have 18 minutes of comfort so this will mean that if you come in here if this was your house and you slept here overnight uh, every single morning you'd be going out with 18 minutes of the rested buff okay so finally i'm going to look at items here that are from the iron age onwards now if you want to know how to get iron i do have a video tutorial on my channel but essentially these are all of the late game items that you can get once you have iron available to you so we're going to start by looking at the upgraded bed which is the dragon bed which has a comfort of two instead of one for the normal bed it is a bigger bed and is going to provide you that extra level of comfort in the same way that the hearth provides you an extra level of comfort to a campfire the hearth being a comfort level of two the campfire at one but the single best item in the game for your comfort is this the raven throne and that is a level three comfort level so those sort of things once added in are going to get you up to that level 16 comfort which is the maximum you can have anywhere on the map i'll explain that in a second um just to say as well let's um go ahead and heal our hammer here heal repair you guys know what I mean. And uh, I'll just explain the items that you'll need in order to build these things. So, in order to build the extra sized bed, where is it? Right here. You're going to need 40 fine wood, 7 deer hide, 4 wolf pelt, uh, 10 feathers, and the 15 iron nails is what makes this an Iron Age build. As for the uh, hearth, that's obviously over here. We've got the stone cutter required for that, which is why I've put that in the Iron Age builds. And finally, you have the raven's throne, which again needs iron nails to build, as well as 20 fine wood. Um, so so that's why I've put these in this orientation. Some of these items you could probably get, you know, a little bit earlier or later, depending on how you're playing the game. But this is just like things to look out for as the late game items. So now we're going to head inside and see all of this in action. Okay, so if we go in here, you'll see that if I stand in here near to my bed, my comfort level goes up to 16. So this is the maximum comfort level that you could have anywhere on the game. Because in order to have it at 17, you would need to be near a maypole. And obviously you have to find one of those. And so you'd have to build around that because they can't be picked up or moved or anything like that um, and to get to 17 you then have to not only have the maypole but also to cheat in a christmas tree now i'm going to show you how to do this in a second in case you want to do that but as you can see everything that we just looked at is here and uh, you know i added in like an extra chair as an aesthetical thing but only one chair would be needed um, and we've got the couple of rugs and things going on here so you can see it all is here the reason for the stone cutter and the forge is because you need that in order to make some of the stuff that you see here and uh, here of course is our hearth Alrighty, guys so i said there were two other ways in which you could get an extra comfort level one of them requires a cheat the other one doesn't require a cheat but does require an insane amount of luck so we'll start off with the very lucky one i'm in the cheat mode right now just so i can show you this stuff but essentially what you'd need to find is a maypole so i'm just showing you here this is what it will look like now you will find these in ancient ruined villages when you're exploring your world but they are extremely rare to spawn however being near one does provide one level of comfort so if you do manage to build your base around one you can get an extra level of comfort let me just kill this dude all right he's dead <laughs> so yeah this is one way that you can do it but i wouldn't worry too much about it because it's it's incredibly unlikely to find and even if you do you'd have to build your base around it but i wanted to like include it just to be complete in this tutorial uh the other one it will require cheats i believe i don't think there is any way currently to get a yule tree in the game this is what it looks like but i don't think you can get it without cheating i've done some research on this from everything i could find online it was saying the only way to get this is to cheat it in now whether or not this changes or any of the comfort things that i've mentioned this video changes in the future obviously remains to be seen but if it does i will do an updated video but if you have this in it will give you an extra one level of comfort so technically if you were to have this yule tree and this uh maypole right here and then build the base i just showed you around all this stuff you would have a full comfort level of 18 and i don't know of any way currently to get that any higher incidentally if you do wish to cheat in a christmas tree here is how you do it press f5 to open your console type in i'm a cheater just like this and then you want to type in debug mode or one word like that and it will say debug mode is now on false actually we want that to be on true i guess that was already on false so there we go put set it to true basically 
and then when you come out here press b and you'll see in the top left of the screen it says no placement cost is true at this point you can right click and choose anything that you want to place including this wonderful christmas tree i won't talk too much about the other things you can place because i don't want to include any spoilers here but this is just to mention how you do this if you so wish if you guys do think i missed anything or want to add anything to this please do let us know down in the comments and if you're enjoying these valheim tutorials and things like that please do consider liking and subscribing for more it really is greatly appreciated guys and i want to thank you all too uh, for your support to date um, but for this one that's all i want to say so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time well hopefully after this episode guys you'll be a lot more comfortable playing valheim yes yes i did just say that you can remove your light now if you wish